click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the valence bond theory as well as we also discussed about that is some of the few features of it. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of the coordination compound. So starting with the first one that is let us understand the structure of the complex NiCl4 2 minus ion. So friends here we are going to talk about the structure of NiCl4 2 minus ion. So in that case we understand that is the nickel is nothing but the central metal atom so for that let us understand the electronic configuration for that that is nickel is the one that has an atomic number of 28 so therefore we could write it here as argon 18 that is 4s2 3d8 along with that of we could also write 4p0 also. so in that case we could get to know that is the d orbital that is this d shell consists of that is Five orbitals so out of which we see it has eight electrons so therefore I will fill it that is one two three four five six seven eight and this is the one that is for the s orbital that is it consists of two electrons but if you talk about the oxidation number of this nickel so in that case we will get to know that is the oxidation number of that is the nickel in this complex it has been found to be two plus the reason behind that is because we understand that is the chloride that is and it has an oxidation state of minus one so that's the reason that while calculating the oxidation number of nickel we could get the oxidation of nickel in this case it has been found to be plus two so therefore we could say that is for ni2 plus ion the electronic configuration that is what we could have is this for s orbital it will be empty because the two electrons it will be removed from this 4s subshell only and in that case basically we could have that is the d orbital 1 2 3 4 and this is the fifth or the 5d orbitals and this is nothing but i would write it over here as 3d and this is the p orbital which is already vacant but if we talk about the electron filling so let us fill the electrons so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 but here there are four chlorine atoms so that are approaching the nickel and that's the reason that this four chlorine atoms that will form a bond with or the coordination covalent bond with the nickel and that's the reason a formation of complex will take place but for that we also need four that is vacant orbitals so for that we have already four vacant orbitals and that is nothing but this 4s and this 4p subshell so in that case we have got four orbitals that is this is the one empty orbital two three four four empty orbitals that is what we have and in that case suppose if you are talking about the cl that is the chlorine atom and we understand that is the ligands are those which will give a load pair of electron to the metal and that is what we have discussed in the salient features of vpt so in that case suppose if i'm representing that is this two cross that represents the load pair of electron of the chlorine of one chlorine so in that case this is the one chlorine that has approached the four s orbit so talking about the next one that is the second chlorine third and the fourth so here you can see that is there is an occupancy of 4s and 4p subshell having an hybridization that the central metal atom goes through that is sp3 and that is what the structure or that is what the hybridization of this metal complex it is basically sp3 so this is the hybridization of the that is central metal atom that is nickel so if the hybridization is sp3 we understand that is the geometry it will be yes it will be tetrahedral geometry and that's reason that is we are not only talking about the structure of nscl4 but we can also predict the magnetism of it here we can see that is there are two load pair of electrons so since there are two load pair of electrons means that this complex is basically paramagnetic in nature and that's the reason that we have understood that is the geometry is tetrahedral and that is how we see suppose if we have to draw the structure of it so therefore we can draw the structure of it in this way so the structure could be given as that is in this case suppose if the nickel is present in the center and in that case suppose if the cl is the one that is approaching the nickel while sharing the load pair of electrons so here basically the structure is 
So it forms a tetrahedral geometry where we can find that is the two CL that will be on the plane while the rest of the thing it will be above and below the plane in such a manner that is the angle that is what we could get is an angle of 109 degree and 20 minutes approx 109 degree and 20 minutes and also it depends upon the hybridization as well as the legalities which are approaching. So therefore this is nothing but the structure of NiCl42- sign and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.